Hello chess friends, this is Video Master of Larry Wolf. And in my lecture today, I would like to present you one of the most beautiful games um, in the chess history. And uh, I would say one of the most interesting games in the Queen's Pawn opening, which actually starts with first pawn up to d4. The game was actually played in um, the Moscow International Tournament in 1925 between the young Mexican chess star Carlos Torre and uh, one of the most important players in, 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 in German chess, and that's actually Master Fritz Zemisch. So, uh, the young Mexican chess grandmaster Carlos Torre unleashed uh, in that game a very interesting and new opening system that was uh, actually analyzed by him and then took his name so it was called the Chore attack variation so he decided to unleash that opening at the top level on this important international tournament and actually I would say that he made it with a great success. Torres' opponents on that tournament were accustomed to the classical style of play prevalent at the time and so uh, they actually found it difficult to orientate themselves to the new situation in that very opening system that Torre chose. So he was able to reap a rich harvest of three amazing victories in that tournament. The first victim was uh, the strong German master Zemisch, the game that I'm going to show you now. And it uh, particularly presents a lot of very interesting ideas. For example, the opening system was in the first place, in the second place, the opportunity how to attack exactly where do we have to bring our pieces in order to achieve a successful attack and most importantly how we should think about the opponent's counterplay when we attack. So let's have a look at this game. Torre played d4, black chose knight f6, white played knight f3 and black played in this position to move pawn up to e6. So once he did, he did this, uh, white actually decided to play bishop up to g5 which is a quite logical move and when white actually goes with bishop g5 right now we have the typical throw attack variation. The white main idea here is to pin the knight on f6 and then of course prepare some move like e2 up to e4 so that he can maybe even play e4 up to e5 so that he will pin on the knight at f6 and definitely he's gonna take some advantage because of it. So after bishop g5, what black decided to make is not to allow white to play a4 and not actually to close the position with someone like d5. But he, what, what he decided to do actually was the move of c5, which is quite interesting now. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.